Hi, I'm Clay Allison from Wicked Edge. This is the third video in a series designed to help you get the very most out of your Wicked Edge Go. In the previous two videos, we talked about setting up your sharpener, getting it mounted to a surface, and then setting your angles. So assuming that you've done all those steps now, we're going to move on to what is probably the most important aspect of knife sharpening, which is the creation and the detection of a burr. So what a burr is, in essence, is when I am sharpening each side of the knife, I'm pulling metal upward towards the edge, and I can push it to one side or the other of the sharpener. So for example, if I'm working on this side, as I'm sharpening, I'm actually pulling metal up and over the edge. Now the reason that's important for sharpening, why it is such a crucial step, is because it is my proof that the sharpening that I've been doing reaches the very edge of the knife. And if you don't accomplish that, you really have no way of knowing for sure that you've come all the way to the edge. So I want to do it first on one side and then on the other. And if I've done that, I'm very confident that I'm going to have a sharp knife. So what I'm going to do is just focus on one side at first. I'll start with my 600 grit stone and I'm going to be starting at the very bottom of the rod like this and at the very back of the knife. And then I'm just going to make a smooth, light stroke pushing up and forward. So I'm going to push upward and forward at the same time. I'm going to just keep my fingers tucked in behind the guards. I'm not going to use a lot of pressure and I'm just going to go nice and easy. Just like that. So that's what your stroke should look like. Just like that. Now to create a burr, I'm going to focus on one side at a time and I'm going to do 10 strokes on this side. Okay, and now is the part where I check for a burr. Since I've been sharpening with my right hand, I'm going to check for a burr on the left hand side of the blade because I should be pulling metal up and over. So I'm going to take my fingernail and run it up the side of the knife and if I feel it catch when I get to the edge I know I've got a burr and that feels great and you can probably hear it as I drag my fingernail across that and what I'm feeling is just my fingernail hitting that little curl that's coming over the edge so there's one spot right back here where I don't have a great burr and in this situation it's perfectly okay to just focus on that one area like this. Okay, so that's another five quick strokes, and now I have a fantastic burn. You can probably hear this again. And just to demonstrate the point, if I go from this side, you don't really hear anything. It's not catching on anything. It's only gonna catch on the opposite side. Okay, so this side I'm very confident has the burr. I just switched to this one. Again, I'm going to do 10 light, easy strokes, starting with the stone all the way at the bottom, from the back of the knife, lifting up and going forward just like this. Okay, 10 nice and easy strokes. Again, I've been working on this side of the blade, my left hand side, and hopefully pushing metal this way. So I'll check with my right hand. And that sounds great. I can feel it with my thumbnail and I can hear it. I've got a great burr. Now I've done that from both sides all the way along the entire length of the blade from the heel to the tip. So I'm very confident now that I'm gonna have a sharp knife. And the last step is just to do my alternating strokes. So I picked up both stones, one in each hand, and I'm going to perform a series of light alternating strokes just like this. Okay, and I should have now a very sharp knife. And an easy way to test that is with a marker that's included with your kit or a ballpoint pen. Just put it there on the edge, and if the edge easily bites into it, you know you've got a nice sharp knife. All right, so thanks for watching. I'll be doing some future videos on tips and tricks and ways you can get even more out of your Wicked Edge Go.